see how to create a really simple branch effect. So we'll see how to go from this to this. Alright, so let's get to it. Okay, so open the image that you want to use and just drag it and open it in Adobe Photoshop. And then uh, the first thing you can do is make a copy by pressing Ctrl G. Then uh, we just uh, invert the image. So you can just go to image, adjustment, invert. Or we can just press Ctrl I. And now we change the blending mode to vivid light. As you can see, the, the image turned to gray. And now we go to filter the Gaussian blur. And we make the radius to depend actually on the image you are using. So it's best for you to. Uh, option that you want to put the value so best for you by you know by testing the pixels in here so I think I find like 13 works cool for this image As you can see now, I will just make a snapshot for the image, or I will just merge everything in uh, one layer by pressing Shift, Control, Alt, E. As you can see, it makes a layer in here. Now I will just delete this one and I will make this one in here in black and white by pressing Shift, Control, U. Now I will change the blending mode to over there as you can see it's already good it's all really nice details to the face now we we'll just need the layer mask by pressing alt and one click and it will hide the picture by layer mask as you can see now I will just um, take a brush and try to uh, use this just interface and I will only touch the background so we just brush the face like so. alright so I will just, I'll just do that really quickly now I will make a dodge and burn layer so I will just Press Shift Control N, or you can just go to Layer, New Layer, and call this Dodge and Burn, and change the blending mode to Soft Light or Overlay, and choose Fade with Soft Light Neutral Color. It's okay. Now we'll just try to whiten the little bit of the area in here. So we just reduce a little bit of opacity, like 15 or 10, and also the flow. Okay. Now we'll just try to brush, brush with the white color in the area that I want to. Lighten a little bit. It's in the eyes. So, for the eyes too. I'm 
just doing this first. So. Okay, now I will choose the black color by pressing X. Just apply a, a texture. So, okay, so we go to my pies and we choose texture in here. I will put it in a, a link in the description where you can download it. And I will just try to rotate my image, mm -hmm. place it like so. And now I uh, will just rasterize the layer. Now I will change the blending mode to multiply, and we'll make it uh, black and white by pressing Shift Control U. And as you can see, I will just use another layer mask, or you know, I will just copy this layer in here I just create it by pressing alt and make it in the other area in here which will apply just in the face as you can see now I will just duplicate it again I will just delete this layer mask and we will make another copy of it and I will press ctrl G and I will choose to lift horizontal and choose flip vertical again and I will press OK. Now I will just I want just to background to to be affected with this texture so I will just create a, a layer mask and then I will just uh, choose gradient look in here and we we'll just try to delete this area from here, like so. You can see. Like this. And we'll make a layer mask in here too. Or you know, I'll, we'll just Again, I will just copy this one in here and paste it in here. Paste it all, copy it and paste it in here. Now I will just press Ctrl I to invert it. You can see it just the background gets affected. Now I will press by pressing Shift and one click to do this texture in here I will uh, make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl P and again I will keep them both selected and I will press Ctrl G to make them in a group as you can see now I will make a layer mask again and then I will go to the gradient in here and I will choose this radial gradient in here and then we just try to make the face not to be affected with the texture like so as you can see like this okay Right now, 
will make an, an adjustment color so we choose a black and white adjustment color and I will just uh, play with the red a little bit it came darker a little bit and the yellows so, like so and now I will change the blending mode to soft light and then we will use the opacity to 50% as you can see it gives it a really nice depth color to it and I would just you know by double click to the layer I would go and to the light side dialog now I would just uncheck the blue channel as you can see it gives it like more interesting color to it and then press ok So now like the final thing we're gonna do is make a blurry vignette so I will just press shift ctrl alt e to merge everything in one layer and you can see here is the before and the after it's really cool now I will just make another copy of this image and I will choose filter Blur Gallery, and then we choose Aries Blur. And as you can see, we we'll just try to make a kind of a circle. So we we'll just blur a little bit of the background. for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know have a nice day